A new report released this morning from the Climate Commission says climate change is already increasing the intensity and frequency of extreme weather events and it's only going to get worse. A new report from Australia's Climate Commission has warned extreme weather events will become more severe. It's a sobering prediction. Twisters, floods, bushfires, tropical cyclones and record-breaking heat the Climate Commission warns there's far worse to come. The report also found that heavy rainfall events are increasing globally. And future tropical cyclones are expected to be more powerful. Victorians can expect more severe weather in the years to come, including extreme heat waves, bushfires, heavy rain and storms. The Climate Commission's latest report shows we're already experiencing levels not expected for decades. A month's worth of rain in a day has led to deadly flash floods in and around the Argentine capital, Buenos Aires. Flash floods in La Plata, the capital of Buenos Aires province, have left close to 60 people dead and forced 1,500 to evacuate their homes. People drowned while trapped in their cars and some were electrocuted as the water rose at an alarming rate. Local media report that 400 millimetres of rain fell in two hours, flooding low-lying areas of La Plata and surrounding districts. Weather forecasts predict more rain to come. Sydney's dream run of sunny weather has come to a sudden end with a morning downpour causing peak hour chaos. Most of Cronulla's 117 millimetres of rain in the past 48 hours fell this morning. Today's rain follows the state's hottest summer on record. A Climate Commission report out today blames climate change for the weather extremes. Holidaymakers may have been confused when they awoke this morning. They were in Torquay and not by the Red Sea. It was thousands of tonnes of earth collapsing which changed the colour of the water and the landscape of these cliffs. The section of the beach underneath the cliffs here has been closed for some time and there have been a number of smaller rock falls recently, but the one last night was the largest by quite some way. All over the Easter weekend it's been gradually coming down, um, just like a river of rocks at some point. There used to be a rock in the sea that's not there anymore. It's emerged 15 dolphins have died in recent weeks as Adelaide's marine mystery deepens. Meantime, the mass fish deaths along the south coast are also creating new waves. A special task force has been set up to solve the mystery behind a mass fish kill along Adelaide's coastline. Up from North Haven to Maslin's. The areas are still littered with dead fish. Over the last couple of weeks, tens of thousands of fish, as well as penguins and even dolphins, have washed up. Visitors to Victoria's Gorge Walkway have noticed a strange sight just below the surface recently. Hundreds of dead squid. How they died and how they got here, a mystery. The United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization is calling for urgent emergency funding to combat a plague of locusts in Madagascar. Locust infestations are threatening the livelihoods of 13 million people in Madagascar, more than half the country's population. The UN agency is calling for funding totaling 41.5 million US dollars to carry out a three-year emergency program to address the crisis in the island nation. If untreated, the locust infestations may wipe out food crops and grazing lands and directly affect locals' ability to provide for themselves. Around half of Madagas Madagascar is currently infested, with each swarm made up of billions of insects. An earthquake struck Mexico this morning. The U.S. Geological Survey said a magnitude 5.5 earthquake. A magnitude 7.1 earthquake has struck Indonesia's sparsely populated West Papua province. Two people have been killed and eight remain missing after heavy rain and flooding devastated Peru. As many as 40 homes were damaged and residents were forced to flee the rural district of Namora. There were similar scenes in Chuota. The beginning of April marks the traditional end of Peru's rainy season, but the National Weather Service has forecast more rainfall in the coming days. A powerful earthquake in southwest Iran has left more than 30 people dead and some 800 others injured. The 6.3 magnitude quake struck close to Iran's only nuclear power station in Bushir and was felt across the Gulf in Dubai, Abu Dhabi and Bahrain. Several strong aftershocks were reported within an hour.
the Russian city being eaten alive, cars, buses, and trucks disappear beneath the earth as they are swallowed by giant sinkholes. Citizens of Samara live in daily fear of the ground disappearing beneath them. Dozens of holes have sprung up across the city in recent weeks. The sinkholes have left a trail of devastation and reportedly claimed one life. They may look like stills from an apocalyptic horror film, but these images have become a daily reality for residents in a Russian city. The yawning underground caverns are all believed to have sprung up in recent weeks swallowing cars, buses and claiming at least one life. The massive craters have appeared in car parks, busy intersections, by the sides of roads, and on major and minor thoroughfares. A sinkhole swallows a number of homes in Russia. The houses all fell into this 45-foot deep sinkhole in a little town in central Russia. One resident said he heard a rumbling noise and then saw a tree outside his window just disappear. An earthquake measuring 6.1 on the Richter scale has struck Taiwan. A powerful earthquake rocked southwestern Japan this morning. The magnitude 6.3 quake struck near the port at city of Kobe. At least 23 people were injured, seven seriously. Most of the injured are said to be ill. North Korea continues to cause unease following reports from South Korea that two intermediate range missiles on mobile launchers have been placed and hidden on the east coast of the country. The affirmative task we have now is, uh, is to actually um, uh, create uh, uh, a new world order. Uh, create uh, uh, a new world order. That magnitude 7.8 earthquake which struck the Iranian-Pakistani border. Early reports say there have been fatalities. Iranian officials say they expect deaths to be in the hundreds. The quake was felt as far away as New Delhi in India and the Gulf cities of Dubai and Manama. The 7.8 magnitude quake was near the southwest city of Khash, close to the Pakistani border. The strongest to strike Iran for 40 years. It is the second earthquake in seven days to strike Iran. Following breaking news, the earthquakes, they hit Oklahoma early this morning. But a lot of people saying that they thought it was thunder outside or they just thought that they were dreaming this. But no dreaming here. Five earthquakes rocking central and northeast Oklahoma. And these things were felt all the way from here in Oklahoma City down south to Chickasha, Weatherford, Fairview, Stillwater, even on over to Tulsa. Fifteen minutes later, right at two this morning, a very strong 4.3 earthquake shook the Oklahoma City metro area. Dead fish are washing up along the Lake Erie shoreline. What are they telling you about the amount of dead fish? It's overwhelming, isn't it? And it's pretty unbelievable to be down here and to see all these dead fish. It's the worst fish die-off experts say we've seen in decades. Fish are turning up dead in a popular central Wisconsin fishing spot. This is all happening at the Big O Plain Reservoir just outside Mosinee. All the dead fish there are causing quite a scene where thousands of birds mysteriously dove straight into the ground. More marine life is washing up along our coast with another two dolphins discovered today as well as a rare fish. With the death count now at 26 dolphins and experts mortified by the saga saying it's unprecedented in this state. Strong aftershocks have rocked Pakistan following the 7.8 magnitude earthquake registered in Iran on Tuesday. The Pakistani town of Mashkal has been totally destroyed according to local media. Death tolls remain unclear in the remote border region. A strong sandstorm moved in on Tuesday afternoon into northwestern China's Xinjiang region, blanketing much of the area with a reddish haze. China's National Meteorological Center said a cold front brought the sand from Xinjiang's deserts into the cities. Visibility is less than 100 feet. 
for another situation that's happened on the south side where the earth has literally opened up. Patrick Elwood standing by at that sinkhole. 96th and Houston is the location. That is a sinkhole right there. There are three vehicles in that hole. The fire department, the police department, the water department, Night Corps, all on the scene. A lot of people who live here interested, obviously, in what's happening. All around that sinkhole. Chicago right now is under a flash flood warning. Three to five inches of rain have fallen in the last 24 hours. One to two more inches are expected. So this is 